understanding of the Logos Institute is that over many years now, the different disciplines that cluster within, broadly, theology have grown further and further apart, and in particular, branches of systematic theology or uh, in this case analytic theology, have grown away from exegesis, which is what I mostly do, and this seems to me and to many others really a shame, and they ought instead to be coming together and talking to one another, not necessarily integrating, because that may be too much to hope for just yet, we've got a long way to go, but at least I think what the Logos Institute is enabling us to do is to have the conversation, to open up questions that we've been aware of around the edges of our separate siloed disciplines, and to try to say, okay, granted we're all talking or trying to talk about God, about Jesus, about salvation, about God's purpose for the world, um, Please can we do that together instead of separately and actually do it listening to one another and trying to learn from one another. That's what I think it's about and that's why I'm excited to be part of it. I've appreciated so much about the community of the Lagos Institute. One, I've loved that the different scholars that we've brought in that are now my colleagues um, have different areas of expertise. And so we're able to really bounce off each other, the different disciplines that the Institute's trying to embody, philosophy, theology, and biblical studies. And with that, I also love there's a real humility among the cohort knowing that none of us are experts in every area, but that we can bring those disciplines together and really sharpen one another and encourage one another in areas where we have blind spots. Uh, so that's been one major component that I've just loved. The vision for the Institute was to bring together leading experts in the fields of analytic philosophy, biblical studies, and theology to think through the most important questions it's possible to ask. And that's what we're doing here in the Logos Institute. Since I studied philosophy 40 years ago, there's been a sea change in the field. When I was a student, you wouldn't have contemplated bringing God um, into a philosophical debate or suggesting that, that theism had explanatory power. Nowadays, the whole debate is completely different. The result of this is the whole philosophical environment now is radically different, with one in four academic philosophers being a theist, with the enormous amounts of superb work being undertaken in the fields. In an era that feels increasingly divided and divisive, that the Logos Institute seeks to build bridges both in and outside the academy. So through interdisciplinary dialogue and um, good academic rigor, um, the Logos Institute shows a way forward um, with courage and with connectivity, um, not just for the students in it, but for the communities that it is active in. Exegetical means that the theology done there is going to be biblical in nature, that we're going to pay attention to the Bible, which is something that lies at the center of theology. And of course, it's the way, one of the main ways God speaks to the church. And therefore, uh, we want to listen to God when we are trying to think about God and figure out uh, who God is, what he's like, and what it all means for us. And finally, what does it mean to say analytic theology? Well, that's simply a term that means that we want to do theology in a way that makes use of the tools and insights of contemporary analytic philosophy. So really, the Lagos Institute is a kind of project which is interdisciplinary in nature, where we're enlisting uh, the knowledge and skills of biblical scholars, of theologians, and philosophers. Analytic theology is an exciting new research program in systematic theology which seeks to encourage work in systematic theology that utilizes the philosophical concepts, ideas and approaches that one finds in analytic philosophy. And all this is taking place in one of the most beautiful parts of the world. And one of the things I encourage the students to do when they come here is to make the most not only of the top flight academic um, resources that are on offer, but also of the beautiful countryside that Scotland has to offer.